Greetings, everyone. Free here. Welcome to uh, the Dem Hub. Snowside has the capability for loading files from a self-service perspective uh, directly into the environment. A very powerful uh, capability. This has been out for a while. But did you know you can now create tables as part of your loading process? Uh, this is a new feature available in all accounts and something uh, very powerful from a self-service perspective or for everyday analytics, uh, being able to sidestep traditional ETO processes and quickly bring in data into your Snowflake uh, environment for your analytics uh, need. That's it. Let's jump into a scenario uh, to explore this uh, capability. As always, links to this will be uh, in the description below. So do check that out. Now, if you are like me, uh, your desktop might look something to the effect of this. Uh, lots of files, uh, CSVs, TSVs, comma delineated files, JSON, Avro, Parquet files that you want to bring into your Snowflake environment for analysis. There are many ways to bring this in. You can obviously use ETL processes to load the data in, but our focus today is for the everyday citizens analyst uh, that wants to quickly uh, ingest and explore data without the overhead of uh, building a robust ETL pipelines. This would be for your everyday self-service uh, analytics. Now, uh, the example we're going to look at here would be the mock uh, customer data. In this case, it's a CSV. It does hold about a thousand records. We're going to see how this looks like from within the UI. Going back to my environment, obviously there is a database, there is a skipper, and there is a uh, a list of tables that exist. But uh, if we do a perusing of this list, there is no mock customer. So we want to have a mock customer table. For this, select that schema and click on create. Create from file is what we want to select. This gives us the option to browse to a file on the local machine to get that imported. So go ahead and browse for that file. That file now is available for us to do an import. This is where it gets really exciting. What we want to do for this is uh, getting this file into the schema. Make sure you're selecting your appropriate schema. And the capability which is new is being able to create a table as part of that import process. What this means is Snowflake is going to look at that file for us. It's going to infer the schema and create the DDR with the right data types without you having to do they work really cool. Uh, you might say, but uh, didn't this functionality exist before? Something to the effect existed before, but the difference is you needed to have an existing table uh, for you to load into that table. Now you can create table as part of the load process. So this is what is uh, very new as part of this capability. Here, we're going to create a new table, but as always, if you wanted to load this into an existing table, it does give you the option to as well to select an existing table and get that, that data loaded into. Go ahead, create a new table, give it a name, call that mock customers. It takes a few seconds. On the UI, we can see that Snowflake has introspected the data. It inferred the data types, obviously column names, and giving us a preview of uh, a few records within the data set. But there is a problem. You can see my data set does have uh, column header on row one, but this is not picking that up. This is an easy problem to solve. Here, what you're going to do is verify your file format. It's picking this up as a CSV. I don't know the file is a CSV. Different file types are supported, JSON, Parquet, Avro, Org, obviously. If you have a custom file format you've created, you can always use your own custom file format. Maybe your data set was delineated with a pipe data type. You can always use that. Now, once you have that selected, click on view options, and this gives us more fine grain options we can configure and control as well. In this case, what we want obviously is first line contains the header. Snowflake should pick up that first line as the header. It does pick it up correctly. So we see the ID, first name, last name, gender, and the IP address. There are some other configurations uh, you can dial in here. Uh, no different than if you were doing an import from a script, but this is a UI. Uh, option. If you have errors as part of your loading, what do you want to do? Do not load any data or only load valid records. You can always select the option that makes uh, the most sense for your use case. Once that's selected, go ahead and click on load. 
It's using that schema, created a table for us, and this is loading data into that table. We can obviously go in and directly query that table to see records. This is a newer feature, being able to load data into your Snowflake environment, but more importantly, being able to create a table while loading data. From a self-service perspective, this is a very powerful feature. Uh, if you haven't checked this out, I highly recommend you, you check this out, apply it to where it makes sense for your use cases. Links to all of this in the description below. As always, hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see what we can do. Uh, if you think this will be helpful or valuable for somebody else, do share, do like, and do subscribe as always. I appreciate that very much. Thanks for watching. This has been Fro with Demo Hub. I'll see you in the next demo. Thank <laughs> you.